Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, one of the most anticipated and most exciting vehicles from Toyota is the all-new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. And I know I have been talking about it quite a bit already, but what I want to do in this video today is to try to predict and speculate what the new 2024 Tacoma will be like to drive. And that's a bit difficult to predict, obviously, because none of us have actually driven the Tacoma and we're not going to get to drive it until much later in the year. However, based on everything I understand about the new Tacoma, I think I can make a pretty good prediction in terms of what the ride will be like, what the steering feel will be like, and what the powertrain will feel like when you step on the gas and actually move that truck forward. And that is because I have an intimate understanding of the new Tacoma based on a couple of things. One is that I've owned many different Tacomas from the past, a 2017, 2018, a 2019. And also I have an engineering background, so I can kind of figure out what the new engine, the new powertrain, slash the suspension and the steering mechanism might behave based on my experience with the Tundra as well as the fact that I'm driving a vehicle right now with a similar engine in this new Lexus RX. So let me see if I can take you through here and try to figure out exactly what the Tacoma will be like because that is going to be the deciding factor for me as well whether to buy the new Tacoma again and I'm kind of looking forward to getting a midside truck again. And this feeling is partly based on the fact that I did own the 2022 all new Toyota Tundra for a while that which was a TRD Pro version. But I sold that not too long ago and I realized, you know what, I actually do really need a pickup truck because I go fishing and I do outdoor stuff and sometimes SUV just won't do the work. But before I go too far, you have to remember three very important things about the new Tacoma. And one is the powertrain changes, that's the engine and the transmission. Two is the suspension changes and three is a steering mechanism changes. These three things alone will contribute to the new Tacoma feeling very different on the road because I know that each one of those things separately have a substantial change itself but combined together will make the new Tacoma feel very different. Why do I say that? Well, a couple of things. One is the fact that the steering mechanism have gone through a big change. The 2024 Tacoma now has electric power steering which is EPS versus hydraulic power steering of the past. All the previous Tacoma had hydraulic assisted power steering, which is a traditional way of uh, providing steering assist. And because of the way it's designed and because it's based on hydraulic power, you get a lot of feedback on the road. The steering is a little bit heavier. In fact, on the Tacoma, it's pretty heavy and you get feel of what's happening underneath the car because the system transmits the feel directly onto your hands. So I really do like hydraulic power steering, generally speaking it's kind of hard to beat the hydraulic steering mechanism when it comes to fuel on the road, but it does use up more fuel, so pretty well 99% of the cars out there are using EPS or electric power steering. So there's no surprise that the Tacoma has also moved on to EPS. So based on that change, what I can say is that the steering will likely be lighter and maybe not as communicative as the hydraulic power steering, but it might be a little bit more accurate. And I know that seems a lot odd to say that, but that's exactly what happened with the new Tundra as it went from hydraulic to electric power steering. It did lose some of the feel in on the road, but it was also more accurate. So if you move the steering left to the right quickly, the car should point a little bit faster and be a little bit more agile in terms of exactly which way it's pointed. But at the same time, you will not feel the weight of the steering or get a good feel for what's happening underneath the truck. So this change might be something either you like or not like. If you like heavy steering and to have a bit of a heft to the feel of the steering, you might not like the new version. But if you want the steering to be a little bit more accurate and a little bit more precise, then definitely the new EPS will provide that based on my engineering predictions. So it should be a bit more of an accurate feel. What about the ride? Well, the ride will also change quite a bit because it has moved from leaf spring to coil spring in the back. And that's exactly what happened to Tundra as well. Now, keep in mind that not all Tacomas have converted to coil spring in the back. Some of the lower end models have kept the leaf springs. So keep in mind that my comments only apply to the Tacomas with the new coil spring, which are pretty well old upper models. And why is this such an important change? Well, because with the coil spring, it has much better articulation of the suspension so that it can kind of move along with the different road conditions and keep the body stable and steady. Whereas the leaf spring, it has basically 
single dimensional articulation so it's not very good at uh, keeping the body intact in terms of side movements it's going to lose some of that composure and that's why with the coil spring it can actually handle some difficult road conditions some bumpy road and the whole vehicle will stay stable and stay kind of flat without moving too much and that will provide a much better ride so this is perhaps a very important change for the new Tacoma I would suspect that all Tacomas with the new coil spring will give you substantially better ride, smoother ride, more controlled ride, especially when going over some rough road or bumpy road. And combined with a new suspension setup, new shocks, new springs, and a whole new design, both front and back, well, it's going to obviously feel much better on the road. So I think the suspension change is very welcoming and promises to provide much more refined feel, something that is important to me because the previous version of the Tacoma, which I owned, had a very uncontrollable ride over bumpy roads. So when you go over some irregular road surfaces, especially on the highway speed, and it gets pretty bumpy and even noisy inside the cabin. So even though that is a truck feel, you know what? Most people are using trucks these days as a daily driver. So the more control it has, the more stable it is, the better it's going to be. And that is something that is definitely going to be happening with the new 2024 Tacoma. So this brings me to the third and the final point, which is the most important point and that is the new Tacoma, especially in the TRD Pro version and the Trail Hunter version, will have a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with a hybrid mechanism called the iForce Max. And this engine in the new Tacoma will generate 326 horsepower and 465 pound-foot of torque, which is a substantial change and a substantial improvement over the predecessor. So now that there's so much more power and torque, when you step on the gas, it's going to take off with much more energy and passion than ever before. So that is going to be something that you will notice right away on the new Tacoma. And obviously I'm speculating here because once again, none of us have driven the vehicle yet. But at the same time, many of you guys are disappointed that Toyota didn't keep the naturally aspirated V6 engine and you are quite worried about what the turbocharged four cylinder engine will feel on the road, especially in this hybrid version. Well, rest assured that in terms of power and torque, and also in terms of the acceleration from let's say zero to 60, it will be a substantial improvement and a very noticeable change from the existing Tacoma to the new Tacoma. So I am 100% sure that you're going to be very happy with that if you were to buy the new TRD Pro or the Trail Hunter with the iForce Max. But there is a bit of a caveat with that engine because it is a four cylinder engine after all, and therefore it's not gonna have as organic and as natural feeling as a V6 engine that we had, which didn't have a lot of power and torque, but it was very smooth delivery, very fine, very quiet, and very settled, if you know what I mean. Whereas the turbocharged four-cylinder engine, even with the hybrid, is going to probably feel a little bit busy and noisy, and it will be a very different kind of feel than what the V6 engine offered in the past. And my prediction for that feeling comes a little bit from my experience driving this car right here, which is a 2023 Lexus RX, because this one also has a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, with a hybrid mechanism. Although you have to keep in mind that uh, Tacoma's hybrid system and the RX hybrid system is very different because in the case of Tacoma, the electric motor is sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. Whereas in the case of RX, the engine and the electric motor work side by side in more of a conventional hybrid mechanism in much the same way that Toyota has been designing hybrid for many years in the past versus the 2024 Tacoma, which adopted a similar approach to the new Tundra with electric motor primarily being there to provide more power and torque as opposed to improving efficiency. So that sandwiched approach of the engine, the motor and the transmission provides a bit more of a conventional feel, let's say, than this one. But at the end of the day, it is using the same turbocharged for cylinder engine. So the feel of the engine in terms of sound and overall experience might be somewhat similar, or at least we can kind of project and speculate based on our experience with this RX. So in terms of my experience with the RX, do I like the turbocharged four-cylinder engine? Well, obviously I prefer the feel of the naturally aspirated V6 engine, but in terms of pure performance, acceleration, and how fast it gets up and keep on going, there's no question that turbocharged engines perform way better than naturally aspirated engines like the V6 engine offered in the Tacoma before. So I think it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you just want really good performance and get up and go, and you really want maximum torque and maximum power to kind of make the performance very interesting, you're going to be very happy 
with the way the 2024 Tacoma will likely feel on the road. But if you're a traditional person who really enjoyed the V6 and V8s from the past, and you don't really like anything that has turbocharged engine in it, then yes, it's going to be a big change for you because when you step on the gas, you're going to hear and feel that turbocharger moving the car forward. And uh, it's going to be a bit more noisy than something like the V6 engine of the past. And therefore, yes, you're going to have to adapt a little bit to the new turbocharged four cylinder engine and a little bit of a higher pitch sound uh, that uh, 2.4 turbo might offer. But once you get over that and once you get used to it, like the way I got used to this RX as well as the Crown I was driving last week with all similar setup, then you know what? I actually begin to enjoy it because it has so much power, so much pep and go, and I didn't have to hesitate when I pass cars or when I'm trying to go uphill, just step on the gas and it takes off. And that kind of feeling cannot be replicated by a naturally aspirated V6 engine. So at the end of the day, I'm a little bit torn. I know for sure that I will enjoy the power and the torque and acceleration of the new 2024 Tacoma in the TRD Pro or Trail Hunter version, but I might miss the natural feeling and the organic feeling and a quieter and a bit more refined feel of the V6 engine, uh, which really can't be replicated by a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Either way, I've already made a commitment that if I'm going to buy a pickup truck again, I won't buy the new 2024 Tacoma, once again in either TRD Pro or Trail Hunter version because I really want the iForce Max engine and therefore uh, once I get to drive these vehicles I can provide you with a lot more feedback and a lot more comments about exactly how that truck will feel. Now do I think that the new Tacoma will feel less truck-like compared to the existing and the current model? Well that's a little bit difficult to figure out but if you're asking if the new Tacoma will likely feel a little bit more mature, a little bit more settled down, and it will have a little bit more of a SUV feel, then yes, I think it is moving in terms of dial a little bit toward the SUV and a little bit away from a truck, but probably not so much because Toyota knows that there are many, many loyal fans of Tacoma and they're not gonna want to make the Tacoma feel too much like SUV, otherwise they risk losing these very important customers. Still with improved ride and perhaps better sound deadening and also better body rigidity, the new Tacoma is going to feel a lot different from the current one, or at least that's what we are assuming. Honestly, I can't wait to drive the new Tacoma, but it is several months away in terms of a driving opportunity, so we're going to just have to be patient for now, and hopefully my commentary will help you kind of figure out what the Tacoma might feel like, and then maybe it will help you to decide whether to buy the current version of Tacoma or wait for the new version. So for now, I'm going to sign off, but if you enjoyed my video, would you give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and if you haven't done so yet, could you also subscribe, which will be a big help for me. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.